Hi, welcome to Taste This TV. I'm Chef Joe Simonero. You know, we're talking about garofalo pasta today, doing a wonderful two-minute recipe. And in this cup, we're actually using the penne ziti, which is one of my favorite, and especially when I'm cooking stuff like small seafood and wonderful different kinds of vegetables. So to get started, we have a saute pan, and we're going to get started with some really good quality olive oil. We're going to put down in there. And what I like to do is take a little bit of butter as well, as I find that the butter combination with the oil uh, are a marriage made in heaven. And when you have such a good pasta like garofalo, you can't go wrong. So now we're taking our radicchio. We're going to put our radicchio in the oil, and we're going to let that cook down and get the flavors of the radicchio out. We've got some fresh cracked black pepper, and we're going to put a little bit of parsley in here too, fresh parsley, that is, never dry. And we're just going to saute this like, the, like so. And just sweat it and get the flavors out of it, melt it, wilter the vegetables so all the flavors kind of sink into the oil, which is one of the reasons why I like to use butter because it's added flavor. Next, we have some shrimps that we're going to throw in here. And we have some tricolore peppers. Here we have some uh, green, yellow, and red. And we're going to add that to the dish. And this is going to create nice color. It's going to create wonderful flavor. And I think really goes well with this dish. Next, what we're going to do is put a little bit of tomato sauce in here. Today, we're going to be using some palmy sauce. And we're just going to put a little bit in there. We don't want to overpower this dish with too much tomatoes, so we just want to put a little bit to complement it. And we're going to let this come together, and at the very end, we're going to hit it and drizzle it with some extra virgin olive oil, and then we're going to get ready to eat. Okay, and at the very end, what we're going to do is just drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top. Give it some wonderful flavor, some nice body, and we're going to go right over our garofalo pasta. Many feet. So here you have it, another great recipe using garofalo pasta. For more information, log on to pastagarofalo.it. Until next time, taste this.